really is him. You must have many questions. So let's begin with the most important one, why I'm here. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and Marvel just dropped a bombshell. James Spader is going to be Ultron in Avengers 2. That's right, it's crazy. So Marvel just announced that James Spader is going to play the voice of Ultron in Avengers Age of Ultron. We don't know if it's going to be a motion capture role yet. Obviously Spader is a fairly older gentleman, so I'm guessing that it will probably just be a voice only role. If you remember, there are a lot of rumors about how Jarvis might be turning into Ultron in this movie, but if that's the case, then that means that they're dropping Paul Bettany because he's actually been playing the voice of Jarvis in all the Iron Man movies. So I feel kind of bad for him, but obviously since this is a much bigger movie, they want a much bigger actor with a much more recognizable voice. So let me know how you feel about the idea of James Spader playing Ultron. So obviously Ultron has this really robotic voice. So it'll be interesting to see how they change that. Obviously the voice of Jarvis has been very British. So I don't think that James Spader is going to be a British Ultron. But I do think it's going to be very interesting. Spader's actually really famous for playing really complex, really dark characters. So I do think that he brings a lot to the table. He's actually in this NBC show called The Blacklist. And if you've seen the trailers for it, it looks super dark. So I'm thinking that this is actually a really good choice for Marvel. If you remember, Joss Whedon showed the teaser for Age of Ultron at Comic-Con. It basically just showed this Iron Man helmet kind of reconfiguring into the Ultron helmet. So I am guessing that Ultron will come from Tony Stark and he won't come from Hank Pym because they have announced that Ultron will not appear in Ant-Man and Ant-Man will not appear in Avengers Age of Ultron. So I think that's really interesting, but I think for practical reasons, the audience is just really familiar with the Jarvis character. So it's just much easier for Whedon to use that as a tool to get to Ultron. I actually kind of thought that they were teasing this in Iron Man 3 with all the outages and the fact that Jarvis wouldn't talk back to Tony whenever he was talking to it. But it'll be interesting to see how they kind of evolve this AI into Ultron in Age of Ultron. If you've read the comic book series, then you know that the movie is actually going to have nothing to do with the comic book series. So I do think this idea that Iron Man is going to create Ultron is much more plausible. But let me know what you think. Is Tony Stark going to be responsible for the creation of Jarvis? It kind of seems like that's the case. And do you think that Ultron is going to be born from Jarvis? You should have seen me this morning when I saw the news. I was working on a Divergent preview and I just got done taping when I looked at my phone and said, Marvel picks James Spader for Ultron. I basically dropped my phone, I was so surprised. But this is really exciting news. Let me know what you think though. Are you excited to see James Spader? Obviously, you know, people like Vin Diesel will be voicing Groot and he'll be doing motion capture, but he's an action star, so that's a little bit different. And Bradley Cooper will probably be doing Rocket Raccoon. So it's just a little bit different though, just because James Spader isn't really known for doing action roles. And obviously this Ultron character is much more of a mastermind. So I, th I think that's going to lend itself a little bit more to Spader's physique. I'll be doing a lot more Marvel videos this fall. Be sure to subscribe to get them all. I got a ton of awesome stuff coming. Remember, Winter Soldier is coming next year, Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Thor 2 coming up in November. That'll be really exciting. In the meantime, you can click here to see that Age of Ultron video I did the other day. And you can click here to watch the new video I did this morning. I just started a new vlog, so let me know what you think of that too. High fives, thanks for watching. Good luck to James Spader.